Good morning everyone and welcome to our FCD reading. Today is Thursday, the 15th of April, and our title is Create with Words. Our shortened scripture is from Hebrews 11, verse 3, and it reads, Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Pastor P says, Maybe you desire a change in your finances, business, health, academics, family, or ministry. No matter what the situation is, you can create that change. Just like your Heavenly Father, you can utter words and have your desires created. You can change the course of your life with words and make it conform to God's plan for you. The Bible says you were created in God's image and likeness. Genesis 1 verse 26. Therefore, you have the ability to speak to things or situations and elicit a definite response from them. Genesis 1 verse 3 says, And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. He simply commanded it to appear. And it did. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 6 sheds more light on what happened in that instance. It says, For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts. Also, in Genesis 11, in Genesis 1 verse 11 to 12, the Bible says, God spoke to the earth to bring forth grass and plants, and it did. In Genesis 1, verse 20 to 21, likewise, the Bible says, And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life. He spoke to the water, and it brought forth all manner of creatures. Our theme verse says, Through faith we understand that the words were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen we're not made of things which do appear. Hebrews 11 verse 3 If the things which are visible to the optical eye were made of things which are invisible, then these invisible things, the spoken words from our lips, must be subatomic particles. Spoken words are coded messages that create sound waves. Hallelujah. These sound codes are thus transmitted to the elements, darkness, earth, water, and God elicited a, div- a, a definite response from each of them. The fact that these elements produce the exact things God demanded is proof that there was an interruption of the codes sent to each of them through words. Ephesians 5 verse 1 says, Therefore, be imitators of God, copy Him, follow His example, as well beloved children, imitate their Father. God expects you to copy Him, to act like Him. Therefore, with your words, you can change hopeless situations. Even if you had a great life already, you can make it much more glorious by your faith-filled words. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is such an encouraging message. You may repeat the confession after me. Say, I use my mouth to create the glorious future I want to see. Even now, I release words of prosperity, strength, grace, victories, and promotions about my life, family, business, academics, and health. I live in the reality of my heritage in Christ. Hallelujah. And for further study, you may read Hebrews 11 verse 3 and Psalms 33 verse 6. And for our one-year Bible reading plan, you may read from Luke 14, verse 25 to 15, and um, Luke 1 to 10. 
and Judges 19 to 21. And for our two-year Bible reading plan, you may read Mark 2, verse 13 to 22, and Leviticus 15. Thank you all for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and see you again tomorrow with another Rhapsody reading. God bless you.